Jack Reacher is a ghost. No driver's license, no credit cards, no cell phone, email, nothing. Can you at least tell me who he is? Well, I can tell you who he was. Blood military, born and raised on bases abroad. His first trip to the United States was to attend West Point. Four years later, he ships out for good. Iraq, Afghanistan, the Balkans served with distinction. Silver Star, Bronze Star, Legion of Merit, and a Purple Heart. He spent the bulk of his service in the military police. By all accounts, a brilliant investigator. Apparently a troublemaker, too. Demoted to captain, worked his way back to major. Then, two years ago, he musters out. After a literal lifetime in the military, he just up and quits. So, how do we find this Reacher? Obviously, you don't find this guy unless he wants to be found. Well, happy holidays, everyone. Happy holidays Thanks. to Good. you, Sean. Fantastic Good. job in this movie. Job well done. Job Thank well you. done. Thank you. But for one second, I got to push pause, and I got to talk to him directly. You do. Oh. Here's the deal, man. Right. You killed it this year, so I'm giving you my special, very own Man of the Year award. <laughs> Come on. Red Tails. Thank you. Do I, do I get it from you? <laughs> I, I, I'm you, but no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. Red Tails. Middle of nowhere, Lincoln, now Jack Reacher. Yes. Dude, that's a monster year. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank I gotta, you. Gotta give you the okay. salute, man. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Especially that middle of nowhere, because I'm still pimping that, because not enough people have seen it. Yeah, yeah people have seen the other ones, because the other ones are big. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get them on that middle of nowhere. Absolutely. Okay, back to Jack Reacher. You were fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you guys were great. I like this movie a lot. It had that sort of gritty, urban, 1970s crack Good, I'm feel so to glad. It. Like mm. old, old school cop drama with some thrills thrown in and my man Tom Cruise doing the business. Mm. But you guys made it happen. We like to think so. I mean, you know, when you're around him, you better try to make it happen. So, uh, so yeah, it was, uh, I mean, everything about it was just right. Sometimes you, you have, you, you're on a project and, you know, the script isn't quite right, but the actors are great and the director's great or the script is great and, you know, you, you're not so sure about your role or whatever. But, you know, between Christopher McQuarrie as the screenwriter, it's based on these Lee Child novels that have sold over 60 million copies. You have the, the biggest, you know, movie star in the world and you have all the resources to get it right. Right. You know, it's 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 it, that's kid in a candy store time. And we're all on location. We're having a good time in Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh was good to us. And then I think that kind of camaraderie is felt on screen. You know, there's chemistry between everyone, and chemistry is not just sort of about you know, yeah, that's tough. It's it's tough have, to get you know, right. but it's it's just about a kind of energy and a wit and a kind of appreciation of one another. And I think. You know, I think you do feel that on screen. I mean, we've got, my God, no one's going to go and see a movie because an actor tells you it's good. I mean, that's the yeah. sort of fallacy of doing these <laughs> interviews, you know? Yeah, that's but, true. But, you know, true. we did have a good time making it, and hopefully that energy, you know, transmits. Well, talk and, a little bit about, like, shooting the movie in Pittsburgh, because that doesn't happen often. I know they use the city a lot for, like, exterior location shots, but you actually were right there in the yeah. city, and that's, that's a little different. We were at the Steelers games. We were at the Penguins games. We yeah. were... We were it, living it. It was a, 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 a masterstroke of the, of the producers to actually decide to set it in Pittsburgh because it's not set in Pittsburgh in the book. Right, right. Uh, and, and that actually, it's Indiana in the book or something yeah, like Yeah, exactly. That, right. and, and so, you know, by doing that, it meant that there was everything about this film, whether it's the car chase or, you know, the, the, the sniper shooting, everything, we, we've tried to make it feel authentic. We've tried to make it feel real. And the fact that you can just sit in Pittsburgh and go, this is where we are, this is what we're doing, that also lets and it's an authenticity to the movie. What is it like working with Tom? Because Tom likes to do it all. He likes to do his stunts. He's real intense. He always delivers the goods. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's, inc it's incredible, really. But, but because of everything you just listed, it means that your game has to be... Be, be raised be raised as well, and that's what you're looking for. And he's know. producing the movie, of course, so you know, he's got a vested interest. You think, why is Tom Cruise so interested in my hair? Oh, yeah, because he's the producer. <laughs> <laughs> you know? was, he, was, he, was he doing that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're like, well, back off, back off, man. He's just a boss, man, you gotta do what he says. So, what would you say is one of your yeah. all-time favorite Tom Cruise movies and why? Oh, goodness. I mean, I got to, you know, the, the great thing about doing this role is that you got to re-watch them all for research. You know, mm -hmm. Risky Business. I mean, my goodness, you know, mm -hmm. you're watching Risky Business again. But then, you just think, you watch them all and you think, this guy is just such a consummate actor. I mean, you watch The Firm and you see that performance and it's mm. the energy, it's, it's really the energy that he transmits into all his movies. Mm. Jerry Maguire I love, is a big I love Magnolia as well. I mean, I think what he does in Magnolia is stupendous. Oh, wow. Jango. I love when he does it. No. Jango. <laughs> that 